I think it's really fantastic to be able to welcome so many Berlin students for tonight's reading of Random with Tom Levine. Welcome to the U.S. Embassy Literature Series. This is our second reading this fall, and we're glad to be back in the English Theater Berlin. So the entire book takes place over the course of about eight hours with Tori on the phone with this guy, trying to figure out, well, number one, trying to keep him alive, Number two, trying to figure out if he is who he says he is, or if he's somehow connected to Kevin and the whole case. Is he after something? Is it a prank? Is it some kind of vengeance? She doesn't know, so she has to keep him on the phone, keep him talking, and find out what exactly is happening. Uh, how do you personally use social media? Um, actually, I use WhatsApp since, I don't know, since three years. But I was in Brazil for one year, and there it's like a much bit bigger thing. Well, I think people actually need to stand up for people who are bullied in the internet or anywhere and that whenever you see somebody being bullied online, you actually have to do something and not just let it happen and be responsible for what you post online because sometimes it can hurt people and you don't even know it. I just want to ask you a few questions, Victoria. This one reporter keeps shouting through our closed door. Her name is Allison Summers. I've never met her face to face, still don't know what she looks like, but I know what she thinks of me and what she made the rest of the world think of me. So she can stay out there and melt in the rain like the witch she is for all I care. Did you learn any, any important lessons from this book? Well, I wasn't really aware of cyberbullying that much before I, I uh, heard of the book because I didn't experience it myself a lot. Um, but um, hearing from the author also that there was actual cases and actual situations where people committed suicide also um, because they were bullied, um, that definitely raised more awareness and I thought about the topic a little bit more. And I also um, learned tonight that um, words can be really harmful. I never thought about it that much, I think, uh, what, what power lies in words. I really like the statement of uh, Tom Levine that Gandhi and um, Martin Luther King Jr. only used words and didn't um, fight or anything to achieve their goals, so yes. Yeah. How do you think that cyberbullying can be prevented? Um, I think that people have, um, must be informed, like in any kind, not only if you are bullied, but also if you are a bully, because mostly uh, you just don't know how to deal with it, and the majority usually thinks, oh, I've never faced it, and so they don't know. Uh, and if we are informed, if we know what we can do, we can prevent uh, cyberbullying and bullying as it is very good. Mom's forehead already creased, tightens. What, Tori? Uh, nothing, I say, and get up. I'm not very hungry. Mom doesn't say anything, so I go to my room and close the door. Maybe I should just plead guilty tomorrow. Maybe that'll make everyone happy. Good one.